Hello everyone, for those of you to hear me here, I have a dream to share and this is also a warning for all of us, especially to all the true children or true believers of the Lord Jesus Christ. May you hear really and put it in your heart. Put it in your heart. I saw Lord Jesus um, in the dream who was being crucified. And he let me see him. And I was like in um I am I was like together with his like you know the very loved disciple and <clears throat> we were like standing and we saw him like on the cross. I just saw him alone. Um there are not no other people except me and you know his uh, beloved one disciple the lord didn't speak to us by his mouth but he speaks to us through his you know thoughts that he share it with us together with what uh, uh, together with that disciple as we look uh, up to him in his uh, crucifixion actually it's different from what you see in the picture I mean, when you see the Lord by yourself being crucified, I mean, yes, his body is like, like almost torn to pieces. Like he has so many wounds. If you can see in this picture, it doesn't have so much wounds, but he has so many bruises. Like it's really like really like being beaten like. I mean, you know, like, you can see how much pain when he sacrificed himself. I saw it in my dream. He has so many bones. And as we look up to him in his crucifixion, me and that disciple, he let us experience how much pain he tries to endure that you know i mean he let us experience what he feels of how painful that is being crucified and he sacrificed himself for us humankind for all of us hopefully to be saved that no matter what we should obey the lord and when we feel like what he feels, me and that disciple, we we cry, cry hard. And I, as I, I awake, I cry. I mean, I'm still crying. And the Lord let me know that, you know, we, we are keep sinning. We do, we obey our flesh. And I am also guilty because, you know, I didn't know that I was in the sinning because I ate, you know, like, foods that I want, which we should crucify our flesh. I mean, I seldom eat those foods because we, we doesn't have money, you know, and we rely on God. But, you know, it's not good to have too much. And especially, the Lord warns us not to be a part of worldly event especially you know the pagan celebrations and especially this coming uh, new year and i will not be participating about this uh, worldly event and may you not also don't sin any types of sin because the lord sacrificed himself to us for hoping all of us to be saved and you i saw the lord then like he was really like, as uh, um, as I describe, I I describe him like he's like torn, like into pieces. Like I mean, his body, you know, you cannot imagine how many wounds he have, and he suffers for all of us, and he let us feel the pain. That's why me and the disciple were crying also. Really. He, he do that because he loves us all. He sacrificed himself to us. 
So, may you do, may we all do the same. Sacrifice ourselves and obey the Lord. Stop sinning. You cannot imagine how it is painful what He done just to save all of us because He loves us. May we all do the same to God. May we really try our best to crucify our, fle- our flesh and to obey the Lord. To obey the Lord, to live simply, to help the needy if we can help someone. Help. Do not be greedy because when you are greedy, you cannot enter really also. The kingdom in heaven, you cannot. So, love everyone. Do not hate. Forgive and help each other. And not to sin for any types of sin you cannot enter in the kingdom of heaven. May you be touched by the Lord's. Um, may the Lord touch your hearts and may you really obey the Lord. May you listen all. Keep praying and repenting heartily to the Lord Jesus Christ.